All right, Seabreeze showers are going to fire up again today. It'll be the third straight day that we see that happen. There's a few spotty showers along the Texas coast. Now, here's a loop of how it played out yesterday, similar to how it did the day before. Scattered shower activity fired up to the south of us. And then as we go late afternoon, evening, it finally makes its way into parts of central Texas. As it starts over here again, I'll show you that outflow boundary. I've pointed it out two days in a row. You can see how it races off. See that faint line there move all the way through central Texas. That's that main forcing mechanism that uh, brings the showers to us. The showers get going down here. Rain cold air from the cluster of rain starts rushing out, organizes, moves off towards the north. It acts like a mini cold front. And if you've been outside the late the last couple of late afternoons and evenings, you've noticed when that came through. The temperature can drop five to ten degrees. The clouds roll in. The winds will pick up. They can be over 20 miles per hour uh, at times 20 30 miles per hour for sure. There were some strong gusts yesterday. You, not everyone gets the rain, but we all get that little brief cool down again. Four to 8 p.m. is the peak window time that we finally see those showers often make it. All right, some spotty showers now. Uh, we're quiet here in Central Texas through the morning hours. The majority of the day we're quiet. It's as we go four, five, six. That's when it finally makes its way here as we're starting to wrap up the day. All right, so here's uh, stopping it at six o'clock. Now we go deeper in the evening. We lose that daytime heating and the shower activity collapses. Very common uh, setup uh, here for us in Central Texas this time of year and for the rest of the summer wool track days where we have these sea breeze showers that make a run for us. Again, best chance for them to get here is late afternoon, evening. Not everyone's going to see the rain. Uh, top threats, heavy downpours, frequent lightning. Last couple of days, the outflow boundaries have been uh, some overachievers and they've made it through central Texas with some of those spotty showers making a little farther than the Brazos Valley. This is the area we typically look with the better chances, uh, but I've extended it a little bit further to the north. Again, there will be a chance for some of those spotty showers later today. Lower 70s out towards the west, 70 77 in Waco, 74 Temple, overall mid to some upper 70s across our eastern zones. Back at it again today in the lower 90s, the seasonal average 97. We continue to run below average 90 to 93 today. Hey, there will be a 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze this afternoon. Makes it a little more taller outside, mixes that air up just a little bit, and we need it because the feels like temperatures easily in the mid to upper 90s, especially across our eastern zones where the air is just a little thicker. Another quiet night in the 70s going into Friday morning. Looking to next week, again, looking for that pattern change. We're overall dry and hot on Monday, partly cloudy skies. Front moves in Monday night. The shower chances will start to increase. We're in the rain cold 80s on Tuesday. Widespread showers likely, and then uh, maybe the brunt of the rain shifts a little bit further to the south of us on Tuesday, but still we'll see the effects of that with added cloud cover and some scattered showers, maybe back to back days holding us into the 80s. So we are looking for those increasing rain chances, and we're also looking for a little bit of a cool down as we go through next week with the Climate Prediction Center. I want to show you here. There you go, the clicker. I couldn't have hit it too many more times. Uh, six to 10 day outlook, bullseye over north and central Texas, likely below average temperatures in the 80s. Something to look forward to, certainly this time of year. Tahitia.